introduction, the grand theatre for many a footballing drama. Welcome to the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. And our live game is Barcelona against AC Milan. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. And so, the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Barcelona goes for this lineup. Bravo keeps goal. PK, Mascherano, Daniel Alves, Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, Messi, Neymar, Luis Suarez, tasked with leading the line. Milan play away from home. Diego Lopez takes the gloves. Rami, Alex, Nabate, De Chilio. Nigel de Jong, Montalivo, Van Ginkel, Menez, Cherchi, Destro, tasked with scoring goals. Pique, Sergio Busquets, and it's Luis Suarez. Aimed long and direct. And well played, he saw that coming. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, good interception. Neymar. Montalivo. Van Ginkel. Nigel de Jong. Rami. Nabate. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Churchy. PK pops it towards the front. Rami can hoist it clear. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Now it's Luis Suarez. Tries a through ball. Suarez has a go! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Sergio Busquets tries a long pass towards the front. And the defence can get it clear. Now it's Rakitic. Well, Red, he sorted that out. That's gone a long way up and away. Sergio Busquets pumps it upfield. He's in! Churchy. Menez. It's a long forward pass. Neymar passes it through. Messi has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. No goals as yet. Yeah, they've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Here comes the corner. Rakitic, oh, he's broken through. Abate gets good distance on it. Where to from here? And he's there to cut it out. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Keep 
Chris got good distance on that. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. If you look back on the first 45 minutes. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? De Chilio. Nigel De Jong. De Chilio. Van Ginkel. Messi. Looks like a good ball through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Rami gets into a dangerous position well into the second half and still there's nothing between them defense has got rid of that Sergio Busquets loops it upfield Destro is flagged offside Daniel Alves, Jordi Alba, now it's Luis Suarez, Neymar, played into the middle, in for the follow-up, Suarez has a go, there is the genius of Luis Suarez! Oh, what a signal that is for the opposition, there really isn't much time to get a goal back now, talking about drama. Diego Lopez reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. De Jong. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Forward it goes. Forward it goes. Looks to slip it through. Face to face with the keeper. There's a real confidence about them. Is that a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. Upfield, Rami, Montalivo, and it's Destro. Destro with a long pass. Can he put it away? It's in. Unbelievable. AC Milan are all square. That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Look. Follies can be worked on and improvements can be made, but in the moment it takes timing and balance to catch the perfect spot on the ball to produce brilliance like that. That is absolutely magnificent. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, extra time looms now, but that leveller creates great impetus and they've got to fancy their chances of pinching victory from what looked like the jaws of defeat. 
can get that clear. Well, time is running out. They need to get the ball on field. Churchy. And it's Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez with the ball through. Messi goes for the cross. And what a finish that might have been. Well, for me, this has been real football and drama. Both sides getting stuck into each other. I think you could feel the spirit in both camps working flat out until the final whistle. It's good stuff. So a brief breather and then extra time. Barcelona conceded an equaliser late on. Now they have to do it all again. Do they? Goal! Barcelona! And that could be a huge goal. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Michael De Jong, Alex, Van Ginkel, Antonelli. Has he found his man? Done very well to intervene. Churchy. Thrust towards the front line. Rami gets into the right position to intercept. Now it's Luis Suarez. Montalivo. Half time, extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. And so the last chance to find a winner. They have given it everything. It's been grueling. But who will be standing at the very end? Antonelli deftly done it's over the line and that'll be a goal kick Milan have decided now is the time to make their final change I do have to wonder why they were holding on to the ball for so long in that part of the pitch Milan can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession has got good distance on that. Milan don't have many options, and time is running out. It's come loose. Bonaventura pumps it forwards. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Barcelona, winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone up.